Hey, what's up guys? Soundman back with another action figure review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the brand new Disney Park exclusive Marvel Select Thanos. Now, I'm not sure if this is supposed to be based off of the comic book version of Thanos or the movie Avengers Infinity War version of Thanos because honestly it kind of looks like a mixture of both which I'm not complaining about but this figure looks amazing this is just an awesome figure now if you can pick this up at the Disney park it's gonna cost you about $29.99 I have a season pass so I managed to get this bad boy and uh, it just looks awesome I didn't pick up any of the uh, the Walmart exclusive Thanos bath well it's pretty much a re-release of the bath or you know the Infinity War bath of Thanos this one right here I think is the better version out of all the different fan Thanoses. I don't own the original release of the Marvel Select Thanos, the one that comes with death. So, I mean, I probably pick it up down the line now, now that I have this one, just to do a little bit of comparison. But again, this is available only at Disney Park. So you can't get this at a Disney store, at least not that I know of. So you have the big open packaging right here. You have an interchangeable head sculpt. You have the Thanos written right here on the side. You have a Thanos uh, image, you know, head logo right there, which looks really cool. You have the Disney logo right over here. And on the side, you have some really cool artwork of Thanos. On the back, it shows you the... Uh, character the action figure with some really cool artwork on the back of the packaging and then right there diamond select marveltoys.com and a proof of purchase in the bottom right but that's it for the packaging let's open this bad boy up and take a close look let's at put a smile on my face Accessories that Thanos does come with and all you really get is the interchangeable head sculpt right here and that's what I that's what I mean by is you know this looks like the movie version but the outfit kind of looks like a comic book version but the head sculpt on this looks great look at that the teeth look awesome the facial expression look awesome the chin looks just just awesome the purple on this is really really cool uh, I got a few black marks around you know certain areas of the head sculpt but not a big deal this is still an awesome head sculpt right here all right guys and here we have thanos right off the bat this is an amazing figure right just right off the bat telling you guys right now this is awesome i love this head sculpt right here i mean look at that evil grin the eyes look great you can see all the wrinkles and detailing in the heads and the facial expression the helmet looks cool too i love this thing look at that I love the paint apps on this too. I love how it's kind of like, the outfit looks kind of like a dirty, uh, it's, it's, it looks very worn, I guess you can say, but oh geez, it looks awesome. He has his little uh, armor right here in the upper part of the body. You can see some of the gold. Now, I don't know if this is some battle damage marks right here or if it's just some issues that mine has, but I actually do like that touch right there. But that top of the, like the chest plate and everything looks cool. Yeah, I guess it looks like it's supposed to be some battle damage marks. And then you have the blue outfit right here and you can see all the lines and sculpting right in the torso. Then you have this gold part right here going down the, the abdomen area. And you have his loincloth right over here or belt. That looks cool. See the detailing on here? It looks really nice. And then you have the kind of like the same effect right over here in the back. You have the right arm over here with the gold glove. And you can see that right here. Would have been cool if he, he came with something, you know, like some like maybe uh, uh, one of the stones or something can hold on to or interchange the hand, you know, one without the glove, but that looks cool. And then you have this one right here. Now we have the closed fist hand right here, or maybe we should have got another interchangeable hand with like an open hand. And then you have all of the infinity stones right here, all six of them. So you can see the colors right there. Got one on the thumb, right there in the center of the hand, and uh, on the knuckles right there. So that looks cool. The gauntlets, the Infinity Gauntlet looks nice. The glove looks really, really cool. And then you come to the lower legs and you can see the outfit designs, the pant designs. And then you have the uh, lower legs right here and the, you know, the kind of like armored shoes. These look great. Look at the sculpting on these. And again, it has that really weathered, worn look. And he's got peg holes at the bottom. 
Oh man, I don't, I, there's not much I can say. I mean, this is an awesome figure. Now let's go ahead really quick and go over the articulation of Thanos. The head can rotate. It does go up and down. The arms do go in and out. So they go in and out pretty good. You can see that right there. They go forward and back. He's got a slight bend at the arm, nothing too crazy. Upper arm rotation right there. He has upper torso rotation, slight ab crunch not too much uh doesn't look like he has any waist articulation so it's just going to be the upper part that rotates the legs they go in and out not too much this isn't really like a soft rubber material so it does hinder the articulation uh the feet can cut or the legs can kind of go forward and back not too far though he has upper leg rotation bend at the knee which is double jointed which is always good uh, nothing in the lower leg right here as far as our uh, rotation goes, but he does have, well actually he does have, you know, where the boot is, he does have our rotation right there. And the foot looks like he's got the ankle pivot. So pretty good range of motion, not, not too bad at all as far as articulation goes for this figure. Now, as far as, you know, popping off the head and putting the interchangeable head sculpt right here, it's very easy. And I was afraid it wasn't gonna look good on the figure, but this still looks awesome. This still looks like a really, really good figure, even with the, uh, you know, without the helmet. But I personally like it with this head sculpt right here. I think the the helmet looks awesome. All right, so something I wanted to mention. Here's the, the size comparison right here. So in the front, we have the Mezco Spider-Man, which looks pretty good in scale with the Marvel Select Thanos. Now in the back, we have the Marvel Select Venom. And the Venom is actually taller than the Thanos. Now the original Thanos that was released by Marvel Select, I think is a little bit taller than this. You guys can let me know. But as far as the figure goes, it's awesome. The sculpting on him is great. It's a beautiful figure, but I think he should have been maybe a couple inches taller. What do you guys think about that? But there's a little uh, size comparison right there. And there you have it guys. There's my review. Today we're taking a look at this Disney Park exclusive Marvel Select Thanos. Now, I'm not sure, again, if this is based off of Infinity War, the movie, or if it's a mixture of a comic version and the Infinity War, you know, the movie. I mean, you guys can let me know in the comments below. This is an awesome piece. This piece actually caught me by surprise. I had no idea they were, they were releasing a Disney exclusive. I just saw it on Instagram. Let me know what you guys think about this. Is it a pickup or a pass? Leave the comment down below. Give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you guys haven't. Hopefully you guys can get this figure. I know it's going to be hard for a lot of you guys to not, you know, you're probably going to have to pay the scalper price because, you know, it's only available at Disney parks. And I'm sure, I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys don't have any Disney parks close to you. But let me know what you guys think. Give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you guys haven't. We'll see you soon. Thanks for watching.